This video is for Sunny Rocket. This is their Patreon request. We're doing more music from Final Fantasy XIV. But first, I just want to read something really quick so I have a better idea what we're about to listen to. According to the Final Fantasy Wiki, Endwalker is the version of the song that focuses on the new melody composed for Endwalker, while Endwalker Footfalls, which is exactly what this is, is the full version of the song that was used in the full-length opening trailer. Okay, we're about to listen to trailer music. That's cool. End Walker Footfalls, vocals Sam Carter, music Masayoshi Soken in the Primals, lyrics Michael Christopher Koji Fox, lyric concept Natsuko Ishikawa. Okay, let's do it. Whoa. Ooh, nice groove. Hmm. Yeah, that was cool. Not expecting this. I mean, I don't know. I know it's a trailer. It's it's for the trailer. It's not. I associate Final Fantasy with like cinematic or like symphonic type stuff. But uh, this is cool. Has that like late '90s feel. It sounds like Smashing Pumpkins. Love the tonal center with the guitar. The real simple progression is putting us. But man, if you check out, let's go back like ten. Listen down to the hi hat or maybe like hi hat slash tambourine. The way it's working, a it's mixed so well. It's very very audible. But the way it works against the groove of the kick drum and the drum set player, I mean, it's it's really nice. It's like perfect. Love it. Nice piano augmentations there. We go oh what a great section man the bass player comes in it's big open just real smooth root five octave with nice arpeggios going on there just outlining things uh the drummer plays such good flams i have a feeling i'm just gonna love this drummer a flam is like two notes one is higher than the other we call there's some space between them different styles of percussion of different style of flams anyway one the lower note's called a grace note the bigger note's called an accent but i just love the way it's sounding that the tuning on the kit sounds really great but uh again i will say again i did wasn't expecting this and just has that like like throwback sound with the way the vocals are like working between all the instruments. I like it. Back five. Let's keep going here. Is that are we strumming on an acoustic guitar? Are we playing another snare drum to get that? We have some moving, some moving 16 notes that are supporting the drums. Or go back five. It's kind of cool. Either way, whatever, whatever they're doing to achieve it, it sounds really nice. Gorgeous, man. That was funky. It's kind of a little chili pepper sound spot. We take away the basses. We completely change the uh, the timbre, the guitar, and uh, the tone uh, tone colors that are going on there. And drummer kind of opens the the hi hat. Got super splashy though. Let's go back about fifteen. I appreciate that groove again. That that's really nice. And it sounds like we go somewhere pretty wild with our harmony and the vocals here. Yeah, man. That was a nice push into a kind of a, a modulation there with our key set. Ah, uh, that was gorgeous, man. You take all that away with some like, I don't know, uh, angelic like sounding uh, kind of a vocal effect there. That was pretty cool. But the transition is cooler though. So let's go appreciate this transition again. <laughs> Yeah, 
Nice Austin Auto on the baseline there. Way different feel as how the articulations are coming along. From that beginning, we had those like really open, like easy arpeggios. This feels a lot. I mean, it's not difficult now either, but uh, mm, the articulation is different. The way we're driving the band feels a little different. There was some cool ensemble hits there, pretty fun. And there's a variation of we had that like kind of wild out there. Like I said, it like sounded angelic sounding. Now it's more like choral sounding with the voice. Go back ten. This is definitely. Uh, I take back the late 90s sound. Now we don't sound like the late 90s at all. Just the beginning sound of that way. So we've we've transferred to a, a much a much cooler place in my opinion. But the goon, but the goon, but good. Oh, did I hear that right? That was cool. Let's go back 10. Uh, I was wrong, but it is a little play rhythmically though. So that either way, it's, it's very fun to appreciate that. That's a pretty loud section. I don't know if you can hear underneath that. There was strings basically playing a similar pattern to what the rhythm guitar was going on there. So there is definitely, there is some orchestral um, representation here. So there's a lot going on though. The dynamic was so loud. The volume level was like so up there. It was just kind of burning, burning in the ears, especially with the headset that I'm wearing right now. The mid range is so bright. Anyways, keep going. Now that is a super different construction. Boom, boom, boom. We have very, very, we're pulling super hard in the bass strings, descending quarter note infused bass line there. Again, still funky guitar going on though. I need to go back and grab that again because I was kind of still thinking about the previous thing. Hold on, this is back 15. And we also have kind of a drone going on in either synth or guitar that's just kind of like hovering above all that. It's, it's pretty easy to get focused on either the guitar bass line or just the vocals because that synth line is just kind of existing uh, in between. Very cool. Uh, it's chaotic writing, but it's definitely fun to listen to. Back five. God, those whistle tones are intense. Okay, that was, I said, oh, it's kind of chaotic. No, it wasn't. That part was way more chaotic than the previous part. Just delete, delete that I said that. Uh, I got to appreciate that again, though, because I was kind of listening to Bugga -da -da, da -da -da -da, the guitar line or the bass line. I can't, I can't remember already, but there's a lot of stuff going on right here. Nothing like, you know, no brain surgery going on, but it's still like stacked on it. This is really, really good musical ingredient. <laughs> So we're kind of having things that are kind of, if you, you could stack them here, like beginning and ends, and you put them like you displace them by a little bit. So it feels like they're looping over each other. So that uh, that's pretty fun. Let's go back one more time to get that in context, because the first time we heard it, at least for me, it was just like, I kind of just heard it as one layer. But if you can separate both vocal layers there, it makes it a lot more interesting to look at. I went back a pretty significant amount here, about, about 15. <laughs> Yeah, that's super fun. And obviously when they have the lyrics on the on the screen, it's not exactly it's like almost like a cheat code. Like if you can see it, so you can really hear. I think it's a little more fun just to listen and experience what's being said, even if you don't understand the word, just understanding that the vocal layers are kind of like um not quite call and response, but 
just the way they're stacked on top of each other. So I think that's a really fun design. And uh, I'm getting my ear blown out on the transition to this next section with the whistle tone sounding thing. So we'll do it one more time. We'll let it go. I promise. Here we go. Back five. We're continuing on. <laughs> And we instantly shift in the 6-8. The whole tone changes. Drums playing basically a 6-8, uh, kind of more of a jazz feel, sort of. There's there's some implements that have it, but also don't. But uh, then we're, we focus on uh, strings as taking the melody. So this is cool. I definitely dig the, uh, the vibe change. We're getting a lot of variety within this one song. So in this transition within the trailer, the voice changes, the effect on the voice changes, and the feel and the way the drummer is playing uh, is completely different from all previous. Like even the, the six eight section was obviously different, but now it has such a different. The snare drum sounds massively more aggressive than anything that we did before. Let's just go back and grab that. Let's transition into the uh, vibrancy of this scene here. We still have these ostinatos, these cool like rhythmic grooves behind everything. So that's that's been kind of present through all of our uh, all of our musical ideas that are represented in this. So it's definitely enjoyable. Switch vocalist there and the little funky guitar line comes back. It's a different line than before. That previous line existed for a really long time. We're getting a similar, it's a similar effect, just a different way we're delivering it musically though. All right, and the basses also switches up. Back five, let's grab this transition. <laughs> Boom. Listen to that backbeat, how much tone and resonance boom is going on. Damn, dude. Okay, now this section sounds super contemporary. Like, like we basically have traveled from that 90s sound in the beginning. This sounds like, you know, like name any band from like the past like three or four years on the on the drop, on the vocal section, the way that where the chords are working, the way the bass is playing and the way the just everything is working together. So I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm just saying kind of like ironic how many, I guess, styles and kind of just some, I don't know, feelings are giving us through the entirety of this five minute and 49 second song. Pretty cool.
just fascinating. Uh, so the key change, the push up, there's so many sounds going on. The left hand guitar, the left ear, earbud guitar, uh, solo, it's not a solo. It just has a lot of exploratory ideas within the key, you know, so they're just kind of ramming a little bit. The right side is all chord chordal bass. The bass player is digging in. Drummer is super open. And the voice is like, I don't know, it's like that like kind of haunting, open, super effect drenched style. I feel like it's just blending in with the guitars. It's not sitting on top too much. So you basically have a pretty condensed sandwich of sounds. So it's difficult for me, at least, to uh, kind of pick out between the layers there. Uh, it's loud. <laughs> I'll give you that. So let me know what you think about this section, but let's, let's uh, play it out here. You know, I was about, I was actually going to rewind the song to the beginning. Like, let's listen to how different that guitar was at the beginning. But then they gave it to us at the end, so we don't have to do it. So that was cool. Now I get it. It's for a trailer. So I think it makes more sense to have so many different things going on. in uh, just kind of an exploratory travel through different styles of music within that one piece. It got, for me, like the audio EQ and like just the way it's written, I really prefer the beginning because the end, it got so like, um, I don't know how like, aluminum foily sound if that even makes sense to you it's so like crisp um high in the mid-range sound to me it just sounds like like an aluminum sound not in a negative way i just preferred the more richer just kind of more of a round exploratory uh from bottom to top fuller i guess you would say sorry i don't speak those words of music that well i'm just giving you my uh, interpret on it but anyway like i always say my opinion doesn't matter it's just an opinion let me know what you think i'm more interested in what you think about it my name is drumroll tony make sure to catch me when i'm live on twitch you can find a link to my socials down in the video description below check out the patreon it's a lot of fun we do a ton of anime episode reactions all right thank you so much for watching youtube thinks you should watch this video next please and thank you click the like button subscribe to the channel have a great day take it easy Bye bye